going to start by priming our face and I will place this all over where I have pores and I use this and it reminds me of the Smashbox pore filler. It's very silicone feeling and it does cover your pores. Next I get L'Oreal Infallible and I'll make, make sure I link all the products and the, the number of my shade down below. I get the Morphe M439 and this is a very good brush. It's a very dense brush. It really does spread out the product. It doesn't soak up the product so you, most of the foundation you have on is on your face. And this is just one little squeeze off the back of my hand. And this does look darker but it does match the rest of my body. So that's why I brought it down all the way down to my neck. Next, I get the Age Rewind Erase Circles Brightening Concealer, and this actually hides as well as highlights my under eyes. And then I get the NYX HD Translucent Powder, and then I set my concealer with the powder, and I'm using a Sigma F45. Next, I get ColourPop Bronzer in Happy Hour, and I the, these are really tricky to use with brushes, so I use my fingers and, I, and then afterwards I blend with the brush. So I'm using my middle finger to place on the, the hollows of my cheeks to make a shadow to contour. This is one of the like a grayish dark bronzer kind. So I will use this to contour and then the next shade I have I will be using to actually bronze. So this one I use to actually uh, chisel out or how people say now to snap the face. And I even use it to snatch the nose. It's amazing what makeup can do. I always tell that to people. I just made myself look 10 times taller. So then I get Swift. This is um, this is actually a blush, but it looks like a bronzer type color because it's a warmer color. Again, it's very hard. I, at least I haven't found a brush to use it. So I use my fingers. Next I got Rain and put it on the hollow, the apples of my cheeks to give it some color. And then I get electric slide to put on my highlight. And it's very hard to put light on with a highlight with your fingers because it really makes you blame. I put too much, that's why you see me like play with my nose. And then I put it on my cupid's bow and then on my chin. And then I get um, ColourPop Shadow in Cornelius. I always use Cornelius to um, transition my shades. It's the best transition shade I've ever had. I've already hit pan on one of them. And thank God that Kathleen Knights put it um, separated her quads so you can buy just the individuals because it is the bomb. And I use the sponge tip applicator because Besides my finger, this actually places it properly. And then I got a, a Kathleen Lights shade. And I'm putting it all over the lid. I want it to be a bronzy look. Again, I'm using the sponge tip applicator because my fingers are too big. So to not be all over the place because I already did my face. I use the sponge tip applicator and it feels it does the same effect as you did with your fingers. It's very pigmented. Now I get blaze and I put it in the middle part of my eye. But I noticed afterwards that it wasn't the pigmentation I wanted, so I went in with a uh, birthday girl after that. And then now I get Glow, and I use it to highlight the bottom of my brows and the inner corner of my eyes. Then I get an E27 Morphe brush, and I buff out any harsh edges, and I also try to put more Cornelius up there, but again, so I'm really trying with these brushes.
So now I am going to use Maybelline. No, sorry. I'm going to get the Roulette um, color in ColourPop to darken the outer V. Again, I'm really trying to figure out how to use ColourPop shadows with a brush. So I, I applied with the sponge tip applicator, put too much product for the black. And then I'm using the E27 to buff it out so it's not so harsh. So it came out like somewhat like a cut crease, but kind of a messy one. So it's like a smoky one, but it is pretty messy. And again, I'm trying to figure these shadows out to put on the pigmentation I want without putting it all over my face. Again, E27 to buff it out because the pigmentation was a little bit too much for the black one. That's the roulette one. And again, people, blend, blend, blend. If you, if you think something looks wrong, just keep blending, and somehow it works. Sometimes I blend so much that even after the gym, I feel like I work out more with my blending than I did with the trainer. <laughs> So keep blending and it will come out looking really nice. So see, I didn't like the blaze color, so I went in with Happy uh, Happy Birthday, I think it is. Happy Birthday uh, color from ColourPop on, an, on their first year anniversary. I don't know if they still have it. Um, I think it was just limited edition for their anniversary. But it's a beautiful, it looks almost like a, a glitter, but it's not. And again, go back in to buff anything out. Maybelline Studio Gel Liner in Black is Black, and I get my E65 brush to do the liner. I'm doing a very small winged out liner, nothing drastic, and then I get the ColourPop um, gel pencils in Swerve for my waterline. These suckers are pigmented. I wore, I put it on once at 9 o'clock in the morning, and I got home like at 10 o'clock at night. And it looked like it did when I first put it on. The black was still there. It took me forever to take it off my waterline. So if you want a good black gel liner, this is it. So now we're going to go into our swatches. And I will link down below the color. I don't remember the name of this color. I'm trying to remember. Trying to remember. Oh my god, what's the name of this color? Again, I'll just I'll put it down there. I think this one's one of the newer ones. Again, I'll link it down below. I'm so sorry, but I love this color. I wear this color all the time. I can't believe it. Oh my god, no. hmm. Okay, so that one's more better because I remember starting to lip to the camera. So when I did the voiceover, I knew who it was, what it was. So this one's more better. This was a beautiful, rosy mauve berry color. It's gorgeous. Every time I wear this, people want to know what it is. And I've sent so many people to ColourPop. It's insane. The cult is real. And it's not patchy at all. It's very opaque. This is one swipe, people. This is not like me dipping my brush into the into the color. This is whatever's on the wand. Okay, next is Beeper. This one is a true nude on my skin. It, it matches the color of my skin. So it looks like I got a bunch of foundation to put it on my lips. But if... If I were wear this when it's winter, like right now, I and I'm a little bit more paler, it will look 
like stone from Mac. That one's chilly chill. This is um, a nude for me as well, but a more warm tone nude. And I wear this whenever I wear like a really crazy smoky eye. These are very pigmented. The formula, the new formula for the new uh, color pop liquid lipsticks are amazing they're softer they're not as drying they don't patch off um but they're amazing i recommend this especially for the price point it's something to go for this one is from the holiday collection i believe that one's called scrooge this one's a mauvey pink color as well it's a very nice color um Sometimes, depending on the conditions on my lips, it can be very berry or very light pink. But it is a very sweet, beautiful color. Again, I cannot rave about these liquid lipsticks anymore because they're by themselves. I, I would recommend you to go buy the color you like. I believe they're only $8. They are amazing. I think they're 8 or 6 Again, I was saying it's screwed. And this one's teeny tiny. Again, this is a, a darker gray tone nude for me. It's a beautiful color. It reminds me of Stone from MAC again. Um, this, one, this one actually reminds me more than the other one. But it is a beautiful color. Um, again, especially if I'm not tan, it looks, it looks amazing. I'm trying to look at the price. There's six dollars, people. I'm sorry. There's six. Eight dollars are the bronzers and highlights. And if you sign up for their newsletter, they give you a five dollar coupon for your first purchase. I really like that color. It's a beautiful color. And that one is my favorite red. Silhouette. For some reason on camera it didn't look red. It looked like more like a very bright pink. But it is a red. It's a true red undertone color. Um, And all these are ultra matte lip liquid lipsticks. They don't transfer. They're not patchy at all. I wore this one all day one time. I ate, drank. I ate like fried stuff. It had oils and stuff. And it still didn't budge. Even after taking it off sometimes. Especially that color. It looks like I stained my lips. So I hope you like the swatches. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you for watching. <laughs>